Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to take you through a balance and stability class, which is so important for all of us. For the majority of us, from the age of 30, we can start to experience loss of muscle mass and strength called sarcopenia. So with that, often our balance is going to naturally get worse. Team that with our sedentary lifestyles, it's not so good. And as we get older, it only gets more intense. So we have to work our stability and work all areas of the body and train them to work together so that we can stay really strong. And it's gonna help us when we're walking, when we're running, when we're cycling, when we're just out and about and generally to have less aches and pains, which is what we all want, right? Um, and it's just gonna allow you to continue doing the things that you love to do. So, it's only a short class, set aside some time, let's get moving. You're going to come into your four point kneeling position and we're just going to take a cat cow here to really warm up the spine. So we're going to curve the spine up towards the ceiling. And then we're going to inhale, draw the shoulders down and just bring your awareness to your breath and to your body. Pressing away, spine to the ceiling and then reverse. And again, pressing away. And reverse. And then coming back to a flat back, belly button lifted. From here, we're going to reach the right arm forward, our left leg back. Coming back in. Other side, lengthening out. Already starting to work both sides and find a little bit of stability here. If you want, you can close your eyes, which makes it a little bit harder and really allows you to think about the muscles that you need to stay balanced. The core and the glutes switching on. You've got six more, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, from here, you're gonna lengthen the left leg out behind you. Right arm reaches directly out to the side. Keep the leg where it is, you just tap the hand down and up, down and up. So the rest of the body is in an isometric hold, being held still here, just the arm going up and down. 10, good, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, swapping sides, right leg back, left arm out to the side. Keep the belly button lifted. We tap down, up, down. And make sure your leg isn't too high here. We don't want it higher than the back. In line is great. 10 to go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, good, coming in. Just come off the hands for a moment, clasp them together and take figure of eights, just making sure those wrists aren't getting too tight. All right, this time we're gonna be taking the same arm as leg out. So your belly button will stay lifted, right leg will go back, right arm will stretch forwards. Coming back in. Now the key here is to really feel the left glute squeeze, belly button lift, and come back in. And for some of us, we're going to find this really hard. Also, if you're a woman, hormonal changes through your cycle really can affect your balance. So if you're feeling pretty wobbly today, be kind to yourself. Don't stress. There's always room for improvement. Two more. Exhale. And last one. Good. Other side. Inhale. Exhale. And if you're finding it impossible, start with just the leg and then take the arm off and then come back in. If you can, both at the same time. Really stretch the arm, stretch the leg. Six, and five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely. From here, we're gonna tuck the toes under and come into our knee flow. If you need to modify, you can bring the forearms down for this one. Make sure your elbow creases are facing one another here so the arms are wrapped, muscles are engaged. We're going to float the knees off, holding it here. We're going to slide the right leg back and then in. Other leg back and in. 
And again. And back. Maybe this time that leg comes off the floor as it extends behind you. Good. Six more. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Keep breathing. Last one and coming down. Good. Send the hips back. Stretch the arms forwards and breathe. Wiggle the fingers here. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. And coming up. All right, bringing yourself around to a seated position and then coming all the way down to lying on your back. From here, we're going to hug the right knee in. Left leg stretches out away from you. And swap into our single leg stretch here. Good. All right, 10 and 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hands come behind the head, head and shoulders come off. We add a rotation, thinking about our chest going to our knee rather than our elbow. So chest to knee, elbow stay wide. Twist, and twist, and twist. Good, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and coming down. Lovely, all right, we're gonna work our glutes, which are really important for stability. So feet flat on the floor, hip width apart, roll your imaginary marble from the pelvis all the way up towards your chest, squeeze the glutes. Lift the hips up. All right, we've got 10 hip hinges here. So drop the hips just off the floor, squeeze up. Just off the floor, squeeze up. Good, making sure you're really tucking the pelvis under as you lift. 10, nine, okay, I added some extras. Eight, <laughs> seven, six, five, four, three, two, Last one, hold it up there. Walk the feet closer to one another so your stance is narrower. Make sure you're still really squeezing the glutes. We're gonna come into some marches. So we're gonna bring the right knee towards the chest and down, left leg and down, good. Option to make this a little more challenging, reach the arms up. And the key for balance is to really think about the foot that's in contact with the floor, push down in it. Really keep it active. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and rolling down. Hug the knees in, rock side to side. Three, two, one, good. All right, bringing the feet back down, you're gonna bring just the left leg up, and we're gonna take a hold of the knee, with the right hand. Your left hand is on the floor, out to the side. From here, we're gonna take our hips up. Hold it here, so you're really feeling the right glute squeeze. We're gonna take 10 hip hinges, so drop the hips just off the floor and then tuck the pelvis under, push down in your foot to go back up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, okay, we swap legs, keep the hips up. Right knee in towards the chest, take a hold of that knee. Okay, so we drop the hip down and then tuck the pelvis under, really feel the left glute firing up, mind in the muscle here. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, we're nearly there. Three, two, one, hold it and coming down. Good, again, hug the knees into the chest, rock side to side, three, two, one. All right, from here we're gonna rock onto one side, we're coming into a little side series, and we're gonna start with the elbow on the mat. Make sure your elbow is directly under your shoulder, careful it's not somewhere out here, it's gonna put unnecessary pressure on the outside of that shoulder. Our bottom knee is bent, Top leg is stretched and we're gonna lift the hips up. So we're thinking of squeezing our bottom again, belly button drawing in. We're gonna lift this leg up, 10, nine, eight. Keep those hips lifted, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one, and coming down. Good, all right. Bringing your hand down this time. Now this is a progression that's quite a lot more challenging. If you want to stick to this variation, you're welcome to. Otherwise, hand coming down onto the mat. We stack top leg in front of the bottom leg. So they go one, other, and then both knees are bent here. All right, hand is under the shoulder. We inhale. On the exhale, we're gonna press off the legs, stretch them, and curve up and over and then back down. So it's a nice big side bend, working the side of the body. We inhale, exhale up, inhale down, exhale up. And it sometimes takes a few of these to really get into it. We've got four and five. Good, six, seven, eight, two more. Nine, let those legs help bring you down. 10, hold it and coming down, lovely. Onto the second side, elbow underneath that shoulder. And if that last one's too much, just have it as something to work towards. Often the sides of our bodies are way weaker and not as effective as the front and the back, hence why we're doing it today. So, elbow under the shoulder, top leg stretched, Bottom leg bent, squeezing up. Make sure this bottom leg is bent because that's what's really holding you in place here. Lift the leg, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and coming down. Good. Changing onto the hand. Top leg steps in front. Bottom leg steps behind. Can't speak. Inhale. Exhale, we stretch up. Back down, and up, and down, up, good, exhale, four, really push down in this bottom hand, five, lift those hips, six, and seven, and eight, and nine, last one, ten, hold it, and coming down, lovely. All right, we're gonna bring ourselves around. Find your child's pose. Lengthen out just before we come up to standing, putting everything we've done on the mat into practice when we're standing. So, tucking the toes under, we slowly roll all the way up through the spine, one vertebra at a time as you come all the way up to standing. All right, we're gonna bring the feet together and the legs together. I want you to imagine here that your legs are two magnets being drawn towards one another, okay? If you're on a spongy mat, I would step off of it so you're on a harder surface for these exercises. All right, so our legs are squeezing together here, belly button drawing in, hands on the hips. Keeping those legs drawing in, we squeeze them together as we take the weight forward to lift the heels and then slowly come back down. Inhale, exhale, up and down and keep your gaze forwards here try and focus on one point in front of you to help with your balance if you're finding this easy you can half close the eyes or fully close the eyes to really feel the muscles working it's much harder when you can't focus your eyes good five and four Three, really squeeze those legs together. Two. Last one. Good, all right, from here, we're gonna come into a lunge. So you're gonna take one leg back. I'm gonna come back onto my max, it's not too thick, but you can stay on the hard surface if you want. Taking your right leg back, left leg forwards, you'll notice my heel is off the floor here, so I'm in a big lunge position. We're gonna bend both knees, thinking about the back knee going straight down to the mat, and then we're gonna drive it up towards the ceiling. So we take a nice big lunge back, <laughs> embrace the wobbles like I'm doing, and then up we go. Trust yourself, you've got it. And then drive up. And remember what I said earlier about that foot that's connected to the floor, really push down in it. That's it. Okay, eight to go, eight. And seven, belly button really drawing in. 
six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Good, swapping sides. Left leg back, nice big lunge. Drive that leg up and back. And again, if you're looking to challenge yourself, maybe you lift the heel as the knee comes up. Makes it harder. Or close your eyes. Good. Six. And five. Remember, wobbles are good. They make us stronger. Good. And the more times you do this sequence, the easier it's going to get. Two more. Last one. Good. And coming down. We're going to finish with one leg lifted. And we're going to hold it here. Again, option to close the eyes. Hold it. Ten. Nine, embrace all those little wobbles in the ankle. Eight, seven, six, stand in tall. Five, belly button in. Four, squeeze the glute. Three, two, one, swap legs. Squeeze that supporting leg glute, belly button in, tall spine. Hold ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and Relax, well done. Just roll the shoulders back here. Take a deep breath in and out. In and out. And I just want you to let those shoulders settle, close your eyes and notice how much more connected you feel to your body. Both sides working together, core engaged, glutes engaged. Good, and open the eyes. We take a final breath all together. Inhale, gather up all that goodness you created from moving your body. Take a hold of it, take it with you on the rest of your day and the rest of your week. Well done, everyone. Excellent, excellent work. Now, don't forget, if you want to improve on your balance and stability, go away and do some of the core classes. Do a glute class and then come back to this one so you've had a chance to really switch on those muscle groups and then work on your balance and stability. Just a little bit of practice every single day can make such a huge difference. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of it below. If you've got any questions, again, drop them below and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.